parental and community involvement. Mm-hmm. And that's critical. So therefore, we have an opportunity to change the dynamics for some of the children in our schools if we just get involved. Yeah. Okay, um, so that means we have to go to the meetings and find out, as you said, uh, something about the models. Now, I have to know there are four models that the federal government wants the district to use, with, in all those who apply, apply for the grants, excuse me, to use. Do you know what those models are? I think I know son. The turnaround model. Turnaround model. There's the closure model. The closure. Um, transformation model. Mm-hmm. And there's one more. I don't know. I forgot the last one. Oh, God. Okay, if we think about it now, one of the schools, I know ABC, the Academy for Vocational Career, is scheduled for closure. Mm-hmm. And that's the model that the district chose for them. Um, and I understand the parents are resisting that because of certain challenges that they feel that their children um, are deserving of, uh, certain opportunities, rather, that their children are deserving of. Part of the problem I see is that they said that the children, if you use the children are in these 10 schools, are supposed to be going to schools with a higher performing uh, performance record. Is that correct? They're supposed to go to higher performing schools. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a challenge in a city like Newark because a lot of the schools are primarily at the same level, one or two points apart. Would you say, would you agree? I agree, I agree. I, I agree. know Central has a, a great plan. This is called the Big Bold Approach. Is that mm-hmm. correct? Out of NYU, they're working yes. with folks to, uh, called the Central Zone. And a lot of their feeder schools are going into that zone. So 18th Avenue is a, such a school in Cleveland. All of them will be part of that central plan yeah. with a central big bold approach yes and malcolm x shabazz is using what the transformational plan yes transformational meaning that they have to transform 50 percent of the faculty in that building out to improve the school right. Right. Or so they say you know the principal and whoever else gets to decide that now for this 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 is very important for a community or a parent or a student in the building Children should be involved in this process. Do oh, you agree? definitely, definitely. I think a hundred percent the kids should be involved. I mean, that's their future. Um, you know, I think they. Um, you know, I think that um, that you know that with them being involved and because they know the school, they know the climate of the school. They know, you know, some people. You know, sometimes and then plus, you know, like a lot of um, kids tell me they're tired of. Um, parents making decisions for them. So this time, there's a chance for them to be a part of that Their process. voice is certainly important, yes. even though I <laughs> beg to differ as a parent. And I mean, it's kind of hard for me to imagine children making decisions in the best of their interests in the long run. <laughs> You know, because he used to say, Mom, I'll stay in bed. I don't want to go to school every day because I think I go to school two days a week and still earn an A. And so we have issues as a parent. But you're right about one thing, that the children's voice must be heard because they certainly know the school. They're there every day and they know what interests them. So we should be building education around some of their interests. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? I totally agree. I mean, perfect example was last week, you know, with the, the budget situation. You know, with the, them coming out, the mass. The, you're talking about the student walkout. Yes. Newark kids walked out to the tune of 5,000 students, yes. walked down peacefully to Newark uh, to Broad Street, and, I mean 920 Broad Street, which yes. is City Hall, and to Cedar Street, which yes. is uh, the Board of Education yes. building. And they spoke up for themselves and said that they were tired of not having certified teachers and they wanted textbooks and they wanted a right to learn. Basically, that's what they were saying. Yes. We want a right to learn. I thought that was pretty, pretty awesome, yeah. you know, for our children. And it's just sad that um, very few uh, children took advantage of the opportunity in terms of some incidents that broke mm. out. But overall, it was a grand success. And we certainly hope to hope to hear from our children in the future. Yes. But now it's the parents' turn. Yes. The parents need to step up and make their voice known as well. And how they can do that is, Johnny, I understand that these, uh, we have some new policies in terms of the high school. And can you elaborate with the parents what some of those policies are, what the new direction is in terms of the uh, new high school requirements? The new high school requirements. Um, Newark, um, has adopted some new graduation requirements. Um, it's, it used to be 120 credits to graduate. Um, Newark has, it's now 130 credits to graduate. So they upped it by 10 credits? 10, 10 credits. 
Um, the community service used to be 60 hours. Now it's 80 hours. 80 hours, okay, 20 and, additional hours. And the senior to graduate now, they have to write a thesis. Um, as, uh, in, you know, it starts from the freshman level, but by the time they become a senior, they will be have to write a thesis. Well, you know what, that just makes sense. Talking about a senior thesis because other schools have been doing it for years and in order for our children to compete, they have to write too. I agree. Now, here's the rub for me. Do they have the resources to do so? Do they have the teachers that are guiding them through the process? Are we still having far too many substitutes in the class? That kind of situation. What do you think as a community organizer? You've been in the schools. You talk to parents. I think, I mean, I think we all want the standards, you know, better standards and to make sure